Okay, so today we're going to show you how to use the Pyburn uh, rotary in the Thunder Laser. Um, yeah, these are a very popular rotary uh, for our customers. Um, I am, am more used to using the Chuck style rotaries than I am the roller rotaries. Uh, the mug that I have got here is not ideal for a roller rotary, but we'll um, work our way around that. Um, I'm going to set this in, in the bed. Um, it's very easy to use rotaries with uh, Thunder Laser. Just plug it in and uh, you'll notice that as soon as I set my origin and frame it, it's going to be rotating these wheels. So uh, there's very little configuration that needs to be done. I'm going to set the uh, mug into the rotary here and I'll show you how to adjust the rotary itself. There's a, a knob here that you turn to loosen and you can slide this back and forth. Um, to hold the uh, item in place, you just lift up on this plunger, slide your piece in there, adjust as you need. There's other adjustments here that you can do if you, that you can change if you need to. I'm not going to for this. And then to lift the back end up, I adjust the mast using this roller here. So it's very, very easy to use. So I'm going to move this around uh, over top and get this oriented. Uh, there's a little dot there, which I find is handy for aligning. This is, I assume this is the center of the mug here. Um, so I'm going to align to this dot and then I'm going to align to the center of this knob here. Uh, that's an easy way to make sure you've got it square to your machine. So there we go. Right now I'm going to adjust the height on the front first because I'll do that with the table. And then the back, I'll adjust with this mast adjustment here. Okay, so move it up to six millimeters. Um, I move that off a little bit. Okay, that back, set my origin. Um, now I'll move to the back side and adjust using the mast. And there we go. Okay. Looks like we are good to go and centered. The last thing I'm going to want to do, uh, because this is a roller rotary, um, I'm going to need to, ch to check the size of the wheels. Handy calipers here. So these wheels are about 60, it's, it says 63. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hack this a little bit because um, you may be able to see, I'm not sure if you can see from this angle, but there's not enough room to put the uh, wheels underneath the lip of the uh, mug. So I need to pretend my wheels are smaller by about the distance that, um, you know, it's going to be about a little bit more than six millimeters. I'm going to go, I'm going to say eight millimeters. So 63 minus eight millimeters. Let's see if we can do that now. Please, if you're doing this yourself, um, don't, don't do what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it to account for the diameter difference between the lip and where I'm going to be engraving. All right, so setting up the, um, the rotary in Lightburn couldn't be simpler. I love Lightburn. Uh, just go under rotary setup. Um, this is a roller rotary. The uh, steps per rotation, according to the manual for this uh, rotary, are 8,000. Um, and then my roller diameter, like I said, it was 63. Normally I would put 63 in. You should put 63 in. Uh, but because the, uh, it's sitting on the lip, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to put in 55. And we'll see how that turns out. Um, the object diameter uh, doesn't matter for the roller rotary. Okay. I've got my origin set to the right middle. Um, uh, that I, I should be good to go. My, um, my fill settings are set to 250 speed, 250 millimeters a second, and 30% power, and a line interval of 0.1, which is just the standard default line interval. All right, ready to start uh, engraving. As always, remember to send the job to the laser. Uh, that way when you frame it from the laser, it will frame using the roller rotary. If you were to frame uh, within the software at this point, it would move the, the Y axis instead of, instead of using the rollers. The file is on the machine. I am ready to go. Fire lasers.
So. So what I'm using to clean is a heavy duty citrus degreaser, the Zep brand. Um, it's cheap, it's easy to get hold of, Canadian Tire has it. Um, all right, we're gonna give this a scrub and see how it looks. There we go. That easy.